Here I have a Verizon Droid Razor Max and uh, this how-to is how to factory hard reset your Verizon Droid Razor Max if you forgot your password and you can't get into the phone and hopefully you've got your all your data backed up uh, your text messages, your pictures, your music whatever data you might have stored in the phone hopefully you've got that backed up uh, as it will be deleted uh, when you go into the recovery mode. If uh, if you do know how to get into your phone, you haven't forgotten your password, but you would like to get the factory settings, I've got another tutorial out there how to reset your phone when you do have access, and it does give you options to preserve your data. But if you wanted to, say, sell your phone, or give it away, or just get its performance back to factory day one settings, uh, you would you can use that. Now, obviously, this here will also get you to factory day one settings. Uh, and all your data will be lost and, and uh, as I said hopefully it's backed up uh, it's a great phone it's got the Corning Gorilla scratch resistant glass um, not smudge resistant you can see my fingerprints on it it's a very thin phone it's all battery it's a 3300 milliamp battery it lasts me all day and I've never had a problem best battery life I've ever had in a phone it's got the Kevlar backing I don't know if it's bulletproof but it is much stronger and the phone it's got a great camera back and front and the phone is listed as water resistant which again does not mean waterproof it just means water resistant uh, if you get caught in a light rain um, you should be okay okay so let's get to resetting the phone so the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure your phone's powered off so you get to the phone and let's see I've got my pin here I'm gonna put in one one one, one, hit OK, no good. One, two, three, four, hit OK, no good. Now I already know I forgot my pin. I can't get in. You can't get in your phone. You're willing to go ahead and reset it. So what we want to do is power off the button. And on the side here, you see you've got the power button is the top one. And then you've got the volume down and volume up buttons on the side also. We're going to be using those later on. So let's put so let's get the phone to powered off state. I'm going to hold down the power button. And now I come up with the options. I'm going to hit power off. It's going to take a few seconds. So let's just let that go ahead and power off. There, now we're off. No flashing lights. So at this point, we're going to hold down both the power, the volume up, and volume down buttons at the same time. So you're going to hold them both down at the same time. I use my thumb to do that. I'll make sure I feel both of them click. And now I'm going to hold down the power button at the same time. So I got three buttons all at the same time. And this brings me into this uh, boot mode selection menu. Okay? I'm going to use the volume down button to go to recovery mode and once I'm in recovery mode at that point uh, I'm gonna use the volume up button okay this is uh, instruction number five here on the left volume up and the first thing you're gonna see is the Motorola menu and then we should get to the dead Android screen you gotta give it a few a few moments here and there's the dead Android okay once you see the dead Android uh, screen you're gonna hold again both down the volume up and volume down buttons you're gonna hold them both down again so I'll use my flat part of my index finger here and that brings me into um, this menu and you see uh, instruction number eight here I'm gonna use the volume down button to get to the wipe data factory reset there's other options there you can explore those options but I'm gonna just go ahead and do the wipe data factory reset so once I'm at that selection by hitting the volume down button um, now at this point um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the power button and confirm wipe of all user data this cannot be undone 
So I'm going to keep scrolling down. It gives you so many no options. You've got to really select uh, yes. Delete all user data. Okay, so this is at the confirmation screen. And I'm going to again, I'm going to hit the power button to confirm. And it's, you see you get the little Android there. It's wiping all the data, formatting the data. So let's let it go ahead and do that. And then at that point, uh, the phone will reboot and you'll be at the factory settings. And uh, your phone will have its great performance options that it had when you first opened up your phone and downloaded prior to downloading that first uh, that first um, app so data wipe complete it's going to continue working and then it's going to reboot and you'll be at factory settings so um, good luck with that and um, hopefully this teaches everyone in the future to have all of their uh, their data backed up. So here we are. Let's go anyway. Let's go to phone reboot system now because the data has been the data has been uh, uh, wiped clean. If you could see wipe complete. Now it's back at the reboot option. I'm going to hit the power button and it says rebooting. And as you know with this phone, it does take a few moments to go ahead and boot up. It's got those really cool screens. Looks like you got cracked glass on one of them. For all intents and purposes, the phone is booting up for first time use. Okay, first time use, welcome. And that's that. Alright, good luck with that. And uh, remember, always back up.